All right, so here we're going to be getting into the basics of the Warlock. So Warlock has a ton of card draw and a ton of very strong card. It's glass cannon, 100% glass cannon. You operate by hurting yourself, which has its ups and downs because you get really strong minions cheaper or sometimes you can even pay health. Um, we're going to see what goes on here. So you also have like demons and all kinds of like it super edgy, gothy warlock. That's this guy. I will keep a raid leader. It's a very good neutral card. Off the bat, Voidwalker, a 1-3 taunt. Turn 1. Very good. Warlocks are huge on defense. 100% taunts are your best friend. And you eventually will build up some, some large minions. Like this thing. Deal 4 damage to a minion for 1 cost, but it also damages you. Let's have a life steal. Or you can life tap. Take two damage to draw a card. That's a cool turn three right there. As is that, and probably the better option. And then that afterwards, if we can keep the raid leader alive, which behind a 1 3 taunt we should be able to. But we never know what a death knight's doing. that that way he will have to use his attack to take this out unless he has something else that's gonna just oh he also has a raid leader So, a lot of Warlocks will work uh, with what we call a zoo, which is where you're just flooding small. I didn't know I had that in this deck. Um, you're, you're flooding the board with small stuff, like probably, you know, like this, and just buffing it and creating a problem. And life steal that and heal up. Now it's a 3 3, and again, I'm not gonna attack with my taunt. Uh, so I'm just not gonna attack this turn. Right now, we're just trying to keep the raid leader alive as well as the imps, at least some. So, this we will be playing, so I'll show you more about that in a moment. I think I'm going to life tap anyway, so I'm going to do that first and see what happens. Okay. Could it 
very hard. At this point, I'm willing to let him target whichever he prefers. Obviously, the raid leader is the smartest choice. You're taking four damage off the board. But you can also take down something like the 4-2 or the 2-1s. The big buff enemy, or the big buffing enemy, is not always the one to target. He did make the proper choice there, I think, personally. However, whenever this imp right here takes damage, he's going to summon another one. Reach for the sky. So you can't be targeted by spells or hero powers, no. Three damage to all other characters, it will kill almost everything. Damage. Ooh, it'll kill the raid leader regardless. The only thing that's going to be remaining either way is going to be... Yeah, I'm actually fine making that trade. I should have hit first, but... Still. Worth the trade to wipe this board. That's fair. Next turn, we are going to play Lord Jaraxxus. So, this actually is a character card. Uh, you turn into Lord Jaraxxus, you get 5 armor, and he equips a 3-8 Blood Fury Blade. I'm just going to keep it in the face. He can do whatever he wants. And then, also, your hero power turns into summoning a 6-6 Infernal. Warlock is OG. Uh, it, it doesn't really play as well anymore that I know of personally, but there's probably people that disagree with that. Okay, hello Ragnaros. I haven't seen you in some time. I'll take the 8 damage to the face, please. Leave this guy alive. 50 50 shot. Well played. Don't want to base it off of one game, but Warlock seems to be pretty viable too. As you see, the trade-off for for Warlock is I've okay. Big eye. Your nightmare begins. Your soul shall be mine. I've never seen this this uh, character skin. It's really cool. Random demon from your hand into the battlefield. That's nice, but it's turn four, and we're going first, so we... Yep, one, two, three. I'll take that. I greet you. That looks so cool. So, Voidwalker off the bat. And then next we're going to play the Nerubian Egg. This is a, also a really good neutral card. Um, the Death Rattle is to summon a 4-4, four, four, and it costs two. Uh, nobody's gonna attack this thing. I'm telling you that right now. So the only way to get it, to get that death rattle to go off, is to trigger it somehow, or kill it yourself, or do what I'm planning on doing, and giving it attack. That way you can sacrifice it, make a trade, and then you walk away with a four four. It's not a bad deal. This 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 looks so cool. Dead. 
Defender of Argus, also a really, really good card. You know what? I'm actually going to put these out there first before I do the Raid Leader. And we're going to hope, hopefully he'll try and target some of those. And then next turn, whatever's remaining, we'll have plus one attack. And be ready to attack. Getting card draw, which is... What a cool attack. I was wondering what that was going to look like. So, why am I drawing two? I have no idea. Because of you? And now we have a bunch of buff stuff, and we have another Raid Leader. Uh, next I'm probably going to pop Defender of Argus, and possibly the Voidwalker as well. Uh, you can also give the Nerubian Egg Taunt, instead of giving it attack, or uh, killing it yourself. Instead of wasting one of your spells on it, you can give it Taunt, especially a plus one, plus one in Taunt, and it, it has to be destroyed. In which case, you will get your 4-4. Four, four. I think that's, yeah, that's his second Living Roots, so those are gone. My shield for Argus. And by the way, you can stack the Raid Leaders, and I very well might. So, you can kind of see the zoo effect here. You play some stuff immediately off the bat, uh, especially things that work together, that buff each other, and eventually you just end up with this wall of how did we get here on turn five. And I 100% am going to do this. And I'm also going to put this guy out. So we do have two spirit bombs chilling. Uh, yeah, they hurt us, but he's four, we're twenty-five. Like lethal is around the corner. It's it's on the table. Lethal's here. He's got five mana to somehow shut this down. Well played. Yeah, it's over. Very cool skin, though. Very cool. That's an awesome death animation. Wow. Give him another one for that. So, Warlock is still as viable as I remember. Uh, it can be tough to learn. But, once you're okay with taking damage from yourself, it, it, Warlock is amazing. The rewards far outweigh the cost. I mean, we're lining up just 
That's a beautiful first hand. Turn one, turn two, turn three. I would like to see a... Um, I, I've already forgotten the name. The the knight that gives them taunt. Uh, Argus, Defenders of Argus. Turn one, three, two. Warlock takes those. Hmm. Okay, Shaman. See you. How about this? Turn two, four, one, ones on the board. How about that? Probably need Ruby and Egg next turn. Another friendly menu you want to attack? Yeah, you need to you need to go away. Definitely. Why would you do that? I mean I appreciate it, but Yeah. So, with this kind of deck, especially with your typical core warlock, just keep flooding the board. Even if it just seems random, just keep flooding it. Everything will work together. Because they don't necessarily have to have chemistry when it's Warlock. When you've got four or five minions almost at all times and you can just keep summoning them, especially if you have something like this that summons them when it takes damage. Anything. Just, just keep it going. Now, a Hex, yeah, that's a good card. Used to cost two. I'm glad it cost three now. Yeah, cost three now. I mean, I could probably take a foil. See what I get. Like a raid leader. I'm sorry, that minion already attacked. My bad. Actually willing to trade that away. Mm, I won't summon all of them. I am gonna be aggressive here. That's a life steal. Life steal three damage. That's fine. I mean, that's just about perfect right there. And we already have lethal on the board. Warlock. Warlock is amazing. I'm, I'm gonna say it now. That was fun. That was really, really fun. If you're just starting out, I can see Warlock being a good time.